Here are some of the things you can do with the Philotastic tools within Galaxy right now. So let's say we're going to take the mammal super tree and out of that super tree we're going to take a sample, a random sample of taxa and for those we're going to um, do a taxonomic name reconciliation so that the taxa are anchored on the NCBI taxonomy and we're going to fetch divergence date estimates from the date life server so let's start by just uploading the great big uh, nexus file and now that we're going to do some operations on that tree it's actually kind of handier if we convert that to a, a format that parses a bit more easily and so a simple adjacency table so a table of child parent relations it's actually much easier to operate on so let's go ahead and use the babelfish tool um, to convert the nexus file to an adjacency table now you can see that the task is queued here and meanwhile we can uh, start planning other things in our pipeline as well so for example we're going to um, extract some uh, taxon labels out of this super tree because we're going to sample from among them. So we take the uh, the tax tractor and uh, we're going to um, just create a list of taxon labels uh, anywhere in that file. So let's execute that. Now out of those we want to take a sample and so Galaxy has all these standard tools, for example, select random lines from a file. So that's easy. So let's say we'll sample 40 taxa from this just list of names. Uh, so the output of step 3. And we queue that. So then those then become one of the inputs for the pruner. So the pruner is going to operate on our tree and on this list of taxa to keep. So let's go ahead and queue that. And then we also want to um, go and reconcile these labels with a taxonomic name resolution service and for that actually we have to um, process these names a little bit more because in the uh, super tree and in all the other files um, that we're operating on so far there's underscores between genus and species and so we don't really want that um, so we're going to translate those into spaces so we'll run the uh, tax tractor again uh, and we uh, are going to work on that same list of names and we're going to replace the underscores with spaces and our input type is actually just plain text. And uh, those become then what we're going to upload to the taxonomic name resolution. So that job is now ready to be queued. And meanwhile, we're going to fetch our uh, divergence dates from the output of the prunomatic, right, the prune tree. And so we can queue that. 
and then finally what we end up with is a tree with divergent states and um, a list of taxa that are reconciled against external taxonomy so we'd actually like to merge those so we use the file merge and I'm really sorry for all these names but I had to pick something um, so we use the tree node data that is an adjacency table and we use the taxonomic name reconciliation which is a taxon table and then let's output that to a web page and just make sure that any underscores are stripped out so now that's queued and it should start pretty soon and it shouldn't take too long there we go Right. So these are the contents of what we just merged together. So we've got text uh, listening to list linking to uh, NCBI, and we've got our tree in there. The end.